the Morning Blitz with Kelly Quinn. That's Lewis. I'm Thick Rick. Well, it's that time of year where everybody is once again, and I, you know, I thought this has been put to bed, this this debate, but it still goes on uh, every year, and that is whether or not Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I don't know why we can't just all because it is agree that yes, it's a Christmas movie. I mean, it centers around a holiday, a, a company Christmas party, you know. But uh, I guess now they've come up with uh, criteria for Christmas movies, All right? Um, in a new poll, only 26% say Die Hard is a Christmas movie. 50% say no. 23% say they're not sure. I like some singing in my Christmas movies. Give me a little singing. Give me a little happiness, does a little there, joy. Does there have to be singing there does to be not. a Christmas movie, though? No. Okay. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. You you should know that from Elf. Right. <laughs> Here's where people miss the point on Die Hard. It is a Christmas movie, and it's not because it occurs on Christmas. It's a Christmas movie because it's about a social obligation with a family member that you didn't want to participate in that spirals more and more into an unending nightmare. Come out to the coast. Have a good time. <laughs> Die Hard is very much a Christmas movie. Well, when it comes to deciding whether or not a movie is Christmas, Yahoo UK, okay, so we got to consider the source here, uh, created a simple two-question litmus test. Does watching the film at any other time of year feel weird? If no, it's not a Christmas movie. Oh, I like that criteria. That's a great one. All right, well, I can watch Christmas vacation in friggin' June and not feel weird one bit. Oh, see, I disagree. I feel like it's out of place watching it in June. Yeah, I don't watch, I don't start watching anything Christmas related until November. Yeah, same. But yet AMC will show it in June. And, well, if, and if, I happen, if I happen to, right, so you're going to put that on because it's that good. Well, because they're trying to cater to the people who believe in Christmas in July, which there's no Christmas in July, there is other here. than for the charity reasons, which Thank I was about much. to say. <laughs> if you're not doing a charity, it's not, you know, not quite the same thing. Yeah, I think it, I, I agree with this uh, criteria. Is there, are there more? Or is that the only one? No, there's one other one. If you take Christmas out of the movie, does the movie still make sense? If yes, then it's not a Christmas movie. Okay. So I'm, I'm imagining taking Christmas out of Die Hard. Well, if you took Christmas out of Die Hard... It would Die just Hard, be an office party. Well, he wouldn't be there. Bruce Willis would not have been at that tower where, you know, Well, Bruce, came in. Damien said Bruce Willis said that Die Hard's not a Christmas movie, but he's got dementia right now, so well, you really can't... No, he did this at a roast where he said, it's not a Christmas movie, it's a Bruce Willis movie. He was making a joke. It's, I mean, Run DMC, Christmas in Hollis, is playing in, it's got a Christmas soundtrack. Right. It it checks all the Christmas boxes. There's Christmas music, There's your Christmas music. That's right, Christmas in Hollis. It's Christmas time in Hollis, Queens. Mom's cooking chicken and collard greens. Right. Run DMC. Absolutely. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, besides Die Hard, though, uh, thinking about the criteria... What about Gremlins? Yes, it's, it takes place at Christmas. Batman Returns, also okay, a Christmas all right, movie. All right, but... Does it feel weird watching it in June? Gremlins. And if I, you take Christmas out of it, does it change the story? No. No. Well, I mean, Gizmo was a Christmas present. Okay, it could be a birthday present. But it's not, though. In all right, well, now we can... It could be any kind of present. Now we didn't can change you, did everything. Your, but in the, script, it says, you, it's in the script, it says Christmas present. Can it just be you get a you get a gift? You don't have to be a Christmas gift. I think it's Christmas. It's it, it's the motif. It's the setting is Christmas. Yeah, everything in the town. It's the, it's snowing. Everybody's celebrating. No, I haven't seen Gremlin since it was out, so I don't know anything. Same with Die Hard. I have not seen those movies in 30 years. Or however old they are. <laughs> Someone said, even though I agree, Die Hard is a Christmas movie, it's funny when Pentatonix said that Kiss from a Rose by Seal is a Christmas song because it snows in the song. No. No. What is snow? Well, Kiss from a Rose was from Batman Forever in 94, and, which is not set in Christmas at all. We got a text that says, if Die Hard's a Christmas movie, Violent Night is a Christmas well, movie. Yeah. Well, it is a Christmas movie. Yeah, Violent Night is absolutely a Christmas movie. Yeah, Josh is, why, Josh is with you, Kelly. Watching Christmas movies any time of the year feels weird. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. I feel the same way. 
I'm not watching Elf in August. Exactly. As good of a movie as Elf is, it has a window. Same thing with Christmas Vacation. Who doesn't yeah. love National Lampoon's Christmas love Vacation, it. but the issue isn't full until between December and January. Right. All right. A few other movies they have on the list that they're asking about. Mean Girls. No. <laughs> because they do the, you know, at the mm. talent show, they do the Christmas uh yeah. Thing. No, it's not a Mean Girl spans an entire year though. Right. There's a Christmas moment in it. Yeah. Yes. But it's not centered around Christmas. Right. Whereas Die Hard takes place only on Christmas. Right. Like it's Christmas. A Christmas is it Christmas Eve? Office party. Is yeah. it Christmas Eve? He flies out to see his ex wife or estranged wife for Christmas and shows up at their company's holiday Christmas party. Right. At the t- talking Nakatomi Plaza. Nakatomi Plaza. Yes. <laughs> um I, I and I've never seen this, but rent is rent Christmas something. No clue. No, I I feel like rent spans a long period of time too. I already know where Lewis is on Batman Returns Christmas movie. <laughs> I don't even remember it well enough to know that it's a Christmas. great Christmas movie. It centers around Christmas. They're giving away Christmas gifts. It's during, oh yes, yeah. And in the end, yes. he sees a cat that he thinks is Catwoman. He sits down and he goes, "All things aside, Merry Christmas, Mister Wayne. Yep, Merry Christmas, Alfred, and goodwill towards men <laughs> and women." Like, I did a good Batman there. Let's not kid ourselves about that. <laughs> uh, John D says Gremlins is not a Christmas movie. Like in the rules. Hmm. All right. And Andrew said Die Hard also came out in July. It did, but it's centered around Christmas. Right. Eric said, I can watch Home Alone all year round. But it, in fact, is a Christmas movie. Night Before Christmas, Christmas or Halloween. We had this discussion a little while ago. It's a it, Halloween movie, yeah, right? I have a strong opinion on that. It's absolutely not a Christmas movie. That's what I, I, I'm with you on that. No, the whole point to the story is embracing your own holiday, which is Halloween. The whole the the star of the show, right? Jack, Jack he, it's it's his destiny in the movie to come back around to loving Halloween, right? And plus, they really abuse uh, Santa Claus in that <laughs> Sandy Claus. Uh, what is it, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Um, I do think that's set at Christmas, actually. Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, because I'm not a huge Harry Potter well, guy. Ha- that doesn't happen in just one season. The Harry Potter in the I- Sorcerer's Stone doesn't span... It spans a long time. Yeah, yeah. but I believe, it's it's, I believe it starts at Christmas, oh, okay. maybe. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, Edward Scissorhands. Oh, my gosh. I flipping love that. I'll watch it any time of the year, though. Is it a Christmas movie? Well, it happens... In the Christmas season, remember the big yeah. snow, yep. and he does all the snow the sculptures, sculptures. Mm-hmm. and the ice sculptures, and oh, but he creates the snow. He creates the snow. Yeah, it's not snowing. Lethal Weapon, yes, Brent, is a Christmas movie. It takes place during Christmas. The first one. Hmm. But, okay, so Edward Scissorhands, if you take Christmas out of the movie. But Edward Scissorhands spans a whole bunch of seasons, though. Okay, well, then. So it's not just a Christmas movie. But I guess there are people who argue it. I think the argument has to be if it is set during Christmas and the whole movie is set during Christmas, it's a Christmas movie. Gremlins, set during Christmas. Oh, completely. Die Hard, set during Christmas. Batman, set during Christmas. Home Alone, (laughs) set during Christmas. That makes it a Christmas movie. All right. Hawkeye on Disney Plus is set during Christmas. It's a Christmas series. (laughs) Okay. If it's set during Christmas... It's a Christmas movie. If there, if Christmas is just one part of the long season throughout the movie, it's not. All right. Now, see, I like that criteria. I think that's a good criteria. All right. Well, I mean, you know, to each his own. <laughs> die hard for me. I, that's a hill I will die on. It's a Christmas it's a movie. Christmas.